Hi Virgo, this is House of Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for May 15th, 2021. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. This reading is strictly for Virgos. It's love. So we're going to see what the energies are playing out here for you. Okay, so we have three cards that fell here. Two of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. Let's see. King of Swords. Four of Cups. Oh. Five of Pentacles. Virgo, you're really in a position right now of taking care of your emotional needs. Really nurturing yourself healing and supporting yourself in many ways um i feel like but i still i feel like you're even though you're doing that you're waiting for something you're waiting to hear from something you have very strong boundaries up you're being quite persistent with your um It's like with your walls, like keeping and maintaining some kind of boundary, but you're 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 sitting still in your emotions, but you're not really revealing too much. Queen of Cups doesn't really reveal her deepest emotions. She just she doesn't communicate them, she just feels them. And it seems like you're waiting for someone or something. And while you're doing that, there's a king of swords here, male or female. who's kind of depressed, feels abandoned or left out in the cold or is struggling, is ill. Could have some like physical ailment at this time. Um, worried. This person's struggling with financial loss. Um, definitely isolated, feeling quite isolated. And that Four of Cups energy here, wow. Feeling very unfulfilled. They're waiting. <laughs> They're not even paying attention to the gifts or the gift that's being given to them, the gift of love. This card can be about surprise gifts. Love keeps coming into them, and this person just doesn't even look, doesn't even want it. Are you waiting for this person? Is that who you're waiting for, Virgo? The King of Swords represents air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now it doesn't have to be, but the King of Swords, you know, he sits there. He's very intentional. He's very strategic. And he's usually a good communicator, except he's, he's staying very still. And it feels like he's, look at you. This might be you and your person are kind of like, you're up in your fields and this person's up in their head. And neither one of you are doing, is doing anything. You're waiting for them, and this person is like depressed. They're not waiting for anything. They're not saying anything. They're, they're feeling lost. You don't know where this person is. You don't know what's going on with them. You're trying to make some type of decision, but you're not sure yet. Or you're waiting for someone to make a decision. Let's see what else they can tell us here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, he of Swords. There's going to be communication coming from somebody here, Virgo. It's coming. There will be communication or travel. There are some restrictions. This person wants to build with you, have a committed type of relationship with you, but there's something, it's like they have tape over their mouth. It's almost as if like they can't budge, they can't move yet. Let's get some clarifying cards and get the rest of the story. What are you waiting for here? Some of you might be waiting for this person to wake up to love. All right. Respond to some communication that you left them. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Waiting to see what kind of effort this person, if they're going to put any, any effort into a connection with you. Or waiting for them to get done doing what they're doing. Whatever they're doing could be related to work or something they're, you know, creating or crafting in their life. Um, let's take a look and see why are you keeping your emotions in? Why are you holding things back? Page of Pentacles. You're thinking about what to say. You're thinking about, you want to communicate with this person. I feel like you want to tell them things that's going on with you. Good news, you know. Um, maybe you got a new job or a raise or, you know, stuff about money. You want to talk to them about that, but you're holding back. Maybe you have been communicating with them, but you're not sharing your feelings. I was asking why the Nine of Wands is here. Why are your boundaries up? Hmm, you have justice. You're waiting for the truth to come out. There's some truth here. That you're waiting to find out about are you waiting to hear you're waiting to see if things could be made right or if this person um <laughs> waiting to see if there's karma you're just stepping back you're not investing you're not getting in the ring with this person i feel like you want to but you're holding back because there's something here why is this person down and depressed? What's going on with them? Let's take a look at the King of Swords. The King of Swords, you know, he's more of a thinker. He's strategic. He communicates in his head before he speaks. You know, he thinks before he speaks. So he strategizes things that he wants to say. And this person that you're connected with here, whether they're heir or not, it doesn't matter. They're taking on it's interesting for some of you there's a, a lion here at the top of his head it could be a leo but this person um is thinking about what he, what he or she wants to say were they thinking about <gasps> the same thing you're thinking about the two of wands you're waiting for each other oh my goodness You're waiting for, you're both stagnant. You're both sitting in a waiting position and nobody is talking. You both want to make plans, but you believe that this person is focused elsewhere and they're thinking about making plans with you, but they can't seem to get up. It almost feels like This person is having a hard time seeing a new outlook on your relationship or seeing the options that are there or which direction to go. They're having difficulty with that. So in turn, they're not doing anything. This person, it's like they are taking on the energy of being apathetic. More clarity, please, on the Four of Cups. Yeah, the King of Cups. <laughs> they might think that you have somebody else or you're involved with someone else. That might be why. They may feel like you'll reject them. Or this person is just, I just feel an energy of clamming up. Because look at that clamshell. Clamming up, not showing emotions or feelings. And the Five of Pentacles, why is this here? Why is this person... Why are in this position of like... Well, first of all, I feel like there's some financial loss. because, And I feel like that's taking a huge toll on them as well. They're trying to sort that out for themselves. Some type, maybe they lost a job or... They lost some money or they have nowhere to live or they're being evicted or, you know, 
Okay. Yeah. This person is, is really struggling to see the path to success in love and in their career, their financial worries and things like that. They're trying to come out of the coal and get into the sun. Okay. It's a, it's, it's like the sun is shining down on them and, and in a lot of ways, I almost feel like they are, oh, they're just so worried. It's hard for them to be positive. They have a lot of worry, worried about their health, worried about, you know, their, their physical, you know, their emotional self. They're, they're worried about their thought, if they can create or think of something good to try to get things moving forward, what their plans are going to be. They're trying to figure out their plans and plans with you as well. Did they lose their spunk, their creative side, their inspiration? Um, now, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Because I feel like this person might be coming into some money, some wealth of some sort. Might be a family business or an inheritance or getting a job or buying a new home or selling a home. Could be you as well. For some of you, you know, the Ten of Pentacles always has that element of like leaving a legacy, retirement, inheritance. I just feel like a lot of depression and, and sadness here with your person. Okay. Yeah. This person is trying like saving every penny right now <coughs> because they're, they're either they're actually in poverty or they have a poverty mindset, but they're like, that Four of Pentacles energy is holding on tight. That's being greedy. This person desires long-term security. They don't have it right now in this relationship. They can't. And I feel like a lot of it has stems from their financial fallout. I just heard they said financial fallout and losses. And it feels like this person, I do feel like they have very deep feelings for you, but right now they're trying to strategize their way to get back up on top and they're pushing love away. And you're, you're wondering if this person is going to come around and make things right with you. Okay. We had two cars flip out. You believe intuitively, you think that they're not going to, right? Because this person, you think that they're not going to be able to commit. They have too many secrets. Um, it's always a mystery. They don't kind of let you in on things or know you or, t or tell you every single detail um, of everything going on. Um, maybe that they have a lot of options or they're seeking other options. That's what you're intuiting. Um, now, is that fear-based or is that true? But I feel like the truth of the matter is, is that's not really the case. I feel like you are going in and checking to see if that's the case. The truth of the matter is that this person plays, at least during this time period, is playing the role of like the self-imposed prisoner. They, the restrictions that they have are mostly their own doing. Okay, they isolate themselves. This person's in a prison. They are in a prison, which is why they seek out other sources of validation, visions of grandeur, have their head up in the clouds as a dreamer. They don't, but they're very intuitive. I do feel that way. Let's see, why is the high priestess here? They just keep a lot of secrets. They have a hard time dealing with reality, unfortunately. And things external to them, when things external to them happen to them, they clam up and they have to go in and re-strategize. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this person does have very deep feelings for you. Um, they hide in their work to avoid abandonment or rejection. Or they hide in, <clears throat> excuse me, 
<clears throat> seeking validation from others. They hide that from you. Um, sometimes they don't want you to know. And it doesn't have to be, you know, the opposite sex. It could just be sometimes, sometimes the um, seven of cups can represent like, it's just daydreams. Thinking about, oh, one day I'll be rich, or it's visions of grandeur, or one day I'll have a beautiful car. You know, they, they spend a lot of time in, in La La Land dreaming about things and never being in reality. There's a, a big, strong energy of communi of, um, uh, I'm sorry, insecurity with this person. And I feel like they're having a really hard time trying to get grounded. They're doing what they can at this time. Um, I don't even really feel like the relationship between you and this person is on their mind at all. Um, but there is communication coming from them and a lot of it. And there's good news coming from them. Let's take a look and see... There's some action or travel or some quick change. It's just coming out of nowhere. Mm, wow. If you guys haven't been talking, this person's breaking through that, that barrier. Mm. Three of Swords. Oh, gosh, yeah. Listen, there might have been... A lack of communication due to some type of like breakup of some sort. And this person has not had time to feel that because they've been stressed out with other things in their life, right? Whatever it might be, it could be anything. I don't really know what happened in the past, but this person is breaking through this Two of Swords energy where they were indecisive. Uh, they couldn't decide what they wanted or they couldn't really speak i feel there's like a lot of trouble speaking about truth but some type of heartbreak i don't know how long ago it was but it's almost like there's an element of like there was a delay and all of a sudden there was a delay in heartbreak maybe the five of cups can be remorse or a feeling of they put you off or something a feeling of like now they feel abandoned like i feel like they feel unloved and you since you've been holding back for some reason they may not have noticed it at first because they had other things going on with them but i don't out of nowhere it just hits them this is action and change and all of a sudden this person's like oh my heart all of a sudden they're starting to feel it. It's like a delay. It was delayed. It's like, I don't know if you guys split up or something, or there was a breakup, and this person may have um, just immediately went to other things or other ways to get their emotional fulfillment, but it just never panned out. You know, I feel like they might have been sneaking around to get other ways, you know, being non committal, uh, messing around maybe. And now it just, it hits them. There's no satisfaction in that. There's no satisfaction in visions of grandeur. And now it hits them. They miss you. They start missing you. They start seeing how it affected you that they couldn't make a decision or that they put other things or other people in front of you. And now it starts hurting. It's like a delayed pain, you know, like when you, when you kind of like get a little burn. You don't always feel it right away. The pain comes a little bit later. It's delayed pain. So they're coming in to communicate and tell you, Virgo. Telling you that, hmm, I'm ready to make a decision. I'm ready to compromise. I wasn't compromising. I'm sorry if I abandoned you or made you feel unloved. I regret that. I'm sorry if I put you in a third party affair. Third party affair could be a person, place, or thing. Okay? If there was, you know, another lover or something or just other people, 
or something that, I'm sorry about the argument, an apology of some sort. I'm sorry for keeping my mouth shut and not being open and having, you know, the Ace of Swords is a, is a card of truth. I'm sorry for not creating dialogue of truth with you or blocking you. Wow. Major change coming. Now, obviously, this reading is for May 15th, but you should know that this could play out at any time, okay, going forward. Um, let's get some um, charms here. Wait. Do I want to do charms? I can't remember. Let me think here. Oh no, I want to do the angel wisdom. The charms are on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. So go over and check that out if you want to see the charm readings. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Virgo, what is your question for spirit about this relationship? Ask it now as I'm shuffling. Let your angel guides answer you. What is your question about this relationship? What is the what is the answer? Angel and angel guides for my Virgo for their question. Please show them an answer. Forgiveness. Wow. Virgo, this person's going to come back and they're going to apologize for everything and you're going to be asked to forgive them. Does that mean you got to go back with them? Not necessarily, but you do need to forgive because if you don't, that's going to eat you alive. All right. If you have another question, I'll pull another card or advice from Angel. The Angel Guides. What is Virgo's answer to their question? Or what is Virgo's advice? Oh, there's something better. I think you got this yesterday. There's something better. Now that can mean one of two things. Forgive them. Let them go. There's something or someone better for you. Or forgive them and believe that they're going to bring something better to you this time. The really the choice is yours, Virgo, at the end of the day. That's I just want to pull a clarifying card for there's something better. Can you spirit please give Virgo a little more clarity on there's something better. What does that mean? Wow. The Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Chariot. Well, I'm just going to give you the message that I'm getting here. You were both left out in the cold. You were both feeling a sense of loss and isolation. Things will come back into balance and there will be a lifestyle change made here. Okay. Um, a big lifestyle change. This person and you, I feel like, are going to do everything in your power that if you decide to make it work, to never leave each other out in the dark again and to actually see how this knight is coming in with that one sword, to come in and clear the energies, the negative energies, to clear the conflict, overcome the obstacles, have solutions to why there's abandonment in this relationship or why there's always a feeling of 
physical illness or worry and things like that or to you know to come out of because i do feel like for some of you this person is going to come into some type of money or something be able to make a lifestyle change but the chariot is here basically to say there is action and change there's a new journey if you decide to forgive and take this person back there will be massive change that will be for the better but if you don't and you don't want to go through something again i do see marriage here i do see uh, stability happiness and joy i see the end of a struggle here i see someone who wants to defend this relationship both of you if but if you choose to decide to leave and say i forgive you but i'm not going to do it anymore please know that there is something better for you out there maybe better in that it may be different but don't you know I feel like though the most important message is for you is to forgive not because you're saying it's okay to what they did but if you're going to move on you can't bring the baggage with you you have to just say you made mistakes and I understand you're not perfect but you made some bad decisions I still love you but I'm moving on and I forgive you let that person off the hook so you can let yourself off the hook and even if you just decide to stay forgiveness is going to be necessary because if not it's going to keep coming back up and up and up again and you're never going to be able unless there's change being made okay apologies are one thing but without action and change then they're worthless and i feel like this person will come in if you demand it and tell them we need to work together as a team we need to collaborate otherwise you move on right Virgo um but I wish I could tell you that this person really has deep all I can tell you is they have very deep feelings for you but they're quite hidden they hide them will they share them going forward I feel like this person with the eight of wands does this is the 11 11 I feel like this person does have um you know it's keep its arrows they they do love you and they do have deep loving affection for you but they're not this is very out of character for this person to come forward and share like this with you um and just like either coming to see you or making plans just communicating so much with you that they uh, you know want to be with you they have these plans and ideas i just want to ask one thing is this person in love what is the depth of the love that this person has for Virgo? Is this person in love? Okay, Page of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Cups. This person is very immature with their love. They have deep feelings, but the way they express it, they can be very romantic and kind of a prince charming, um, but mostly like a crush, like a page kind of thing. But this person, they're just not, they're not good at expressing their deepest emotions. So I don't know if that helps you or not, but this person does want to offer their cup of love and even offer, uh, sometimes it can be a proposal, um, like a romantic proposal. It's prince or princess charming, that's for sure. I feel like the romance is coming and there will be some flirty communication that they want to talk to you, but that's just kind of like they think about that a lot maybe your communication from the past but i do see them coming in to make actual change um and if they don't make sure you demand that they do or keep it moving all right virgo so those are your messages for may 15th i hope that you enjoy that please make sure to hit like share and subscribe here on my channel and i will speak to you very very soon take care